Because all you have to do, if you want, you want to help, you you want to help black people. Me. Mm-hmm. Um. So so what? So do you want to help you black? Do you want to help black people? The black community you want to see better outcome for black folks. Of course. The best thing you can do is make marry a black man and make black babies. That's the best thing you can do for the black community. Make sure we exist. Yes. Um. I completely agree with everything you said. And what I'm saying, ma'am, is. And I need you to hear what I'm about to say. What you're saying tends to run men screaming for the hills. Because while it may be true, is it practically showing up in your dating life? Is that a is that a question? Yes. Um. Yeah. And I guess I. I. And I'm honestly, I really do want you to like take it a bit easy on me because I'm um, not. I'm not take uh, take it. Uh, um, what have I said? This? Mm, okay. No, no, no. Because I, I know I'm going to say something that like, I, I feel like, you know, I, I, I would You're like a young to... lady. I understand where you're coming from. And yeah. I could, see, I get that you ladies tend to have a heart for other women. I get it. I get that you tend to feel compassion for sisters. But the best thing, you know, one of the, <laughs> the best thing you can do for poor people is, is not to be one. And then help who you can. But I get concerned when I hear young ladies like yourself taking on all these terms that mean stuff. Misogyny war means something. And I often hear you got, especially at college age, throwing these things around so much. And where is it practically showing itself in your romantic dating relational life? Yeah. And I have like a good um, retort for that. So uh, there's actually, and I know you might get a little bit upset because you know you talk about the PhDs and the dog, but there's actually a, a study that uh, a PhD at Princeton University. When was your last boyfriend? Me. Uh huh. Um. None. <laughs> this is what I mean, young lady. It's all theory to you. And this is real. So I'm talking to you to where I'm not to understand. You got your head into the theory, but what are your actual relational skills with somebody with a with with a with a man that shares your reflection? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Listen, okay. So everything you're talking about, while it may be true, see what I tend to find when young ladies like yourself. You're filling your life up with this because you don't have that. I'm not saying this is not important. I'm just saying, are you even dating? I have. Uh, OK, I understand exactly what you say. And I do know that I'm speaking a lot of theory right now. But in my I, I, I can assure you that in my daily life and when I was on campus, you know, I was not really committed to like social justice activities. I do do it in my own fashions through like. I asked about your relationships. And I do, I, I understand you're asking about relationships, but I do think there's a big systemic issue that plays in the no, relationship. No, no, no. See, this is what you folks need to understand. Life is about people. This is why I make the PhD sound because all the stuff you're talking about, um, let's say you're all these systemic things you're talking about. Great. Wonderful. And you, you're a well-read scholar you, and you speak and you lecture such and so forth. You're 85 years old. Who's coming to visit you in the, in the aged home? <coughs> He's gone. See, I'm not saying don't do this. I'm saying do both. And far too often, young black women don't do relationship until it's Danger zone. too late. And you have spent so many years not dating, relating, and you get your, it's like a muscle. If you don't use it, it atrophies. Ma'am, you can't just decide to in the future, when you decide you're ready to just go, I'm going to pull a man off the tree and we're going to, no, you don't have the skills. I absolutely agree with everything you're saying, but I do want to push back on the idea that women like myself are not act actively seeking. While I was on university campus- I'm not talking about, see, this is one thing I'm talking about. I don't care about women like yourself. 
I'm talking to the woman on the phone. Yeah. See, that's, and- that's what, listen, listen, that's the beautiful thing about, see, oftentimes when it gets tight for women, you guys go to the broad. I'm concerned about you. Yeah. I don't care about the women on your campus because they're not on my phone. Are you doing what it takes to make another black family? If you care about black people, you can you can be as social justicely concerned, just like everybody else. But it seemed like Becky, Marisol, Mylene, and Anu can do all their social justice and still seem to find a social justice husband to make social justice babies. Can we get our college educated black women with equally yoked black men and go fight the power and make some social justice babies if that's what you need? Independent, be interdependent because we get nowhere individually. I agree. I agree with what you're saying. Do both, ma'am. I'm just all I'm saying. Do both. Don't just do one. Do both. Yes. Have a good evening. You too.